Are you ready to brush up your English? Good, because I'm here to help you brush it up. This is a brush. This is a toothbrush. With a toothbrush you can brush your teeth. There are many types of brush. This is not one of them. This is a comb. With a comb you can comb your hair. If you want to brush your hair, you'll need a hairbrush. With a hairbrush you can brush your hair. There are other brushes too, like a paintbrush, which allows you to paint the ceiling and paint the walls. I don't like painting, but there are other brushes. This is a brush. This is a makeup brush. With a makeup brush, you can apply makeup to your face. Don't worry, don't worry, it's brushing off. Yeah, look, it brushes off very easily. Brush down my clothes, brush off my hands. If I couldn't brush the makeup off, I'd have a problem. I'd walk down the street and people would point and say, Ooh, look at Richard. He's daft as a brush he is, wearing all that makeup. But you can't tar me with the same brush as men who walk down the street wearing makeup. I'm not that sort of man. There are other things you can do with brushes. You can have a brush with death. Imagine you're riding a motorbike very fast and you fall off and you're badly injured but you don't die. We would say you've had a brush with death. You've come very close. It's like when you go past someone and you brush past them in the street. You just feel them passing. That's what we call brushing past. You can have a brush with the police as well. That means that if you do ride your motorbike really fast through the town centre and crash, then they're going to want to know why you were speeding and you'll have had a brush with the law. So, as you can see, there are many ways to use the word brush in English. I hope this has helped brush up your English a little, and I'll see you next time. Bye.